Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. This is a crux radiometer which is sold as a scientific toy. In this video, we will see a bit of its history, how it works, and what are the physical mechanisms that make it work. This video is sponsored by GLC PCB. GLC PCB is a company that makes excellent quality PCBs at an unbeatable price. You can order boards online in minutes. After registration, upload your Gerber files, select the PCB properties, select the payment method and place your order. Best price and quality for all your PCB needs. The radiometer was invented by Sir William Crookes, a chemist that was working on very precise measurements of the weight of some substances. He was weighting the substance in a partially evacuated chamber when he noticed that when the light shone on the scale, the weight measurements were perturbed. So this caught his attention and naturally he investigated more on this phenomenon. And then he invented this little device. The name radiometer comes from the fact that this device can give a measurement out of not very precise of the intensity of the radiation of light that shines on it. The more intensity of light, the more faster than the mill will move. But it does not depend only on the intensity, as we will see later, but also on the frequency of light. The radiometer has four veins. Each of the veins are painted black on one side and white in the other. And they are mounted on a semispherical glass capsule that rests on the tip of a needle. So it can rotate with very low friction. And this glass chamber is partially evacuated. It is not a total vacuum. It needs a little bit of air in order to work. A full vacuum or with atmospheric pressure, the radiometer will not work. Let's now see it work with the light of a lighter. As we could see, the radiometer rotates in a direction as if we were pushing the black side of the veins. Let's now try with the light of the LED of the cell phone, which is much more brighter than that of the lighter. As you can see, it rotates slower much more slowly than with the lighter. So that means that the radiometer is more sensitive to the light of the flame, which is of a lower frequency than the light of the LED of the cell phone. But let's now try with a really powerful LED. This one is of 30 watts. Finally, let's try it in the sunlight.
Analyzing his invention, Crookes thought that the reason of the rotation of the radiometer was the pressure of light that was higher on the black side than on the white side of the veins. What is the meaning of pressure of light? The light is made of particles called photons and when a photon impinges on a perfectly black surface it is absorbed and when it does on a perfectly white surface it is reflected. Physics tells that the momentum transferred to the black surface during the absorption is exactly half of the momentum transferred to the white surface during reflection. Therefore, the force exerted by the light on the white surface is double the force on the black one. So, the radiometer must rotate in the opposite direction than it really does. So, Crookes explanation of the rotation of the radiometer was incorrect. One of the reasons that the radiometer rotates is the following. Imagine that this is one of the veins. Here we have the black side and the white side. Because the black side absorbs more light than the white one, it gets hotter. So the temperature of the air here is larger than the temperature on the white side. Everybody knows that a white car is cooler than a black one. So the same happens here. Therefore T1 is larger than T2. And consequently the pressure on the black side is larger than the pressure on the white side. So there is a net force that pushes from the black to the white side. And the radiometer will move from left to right. This explains why the radiometer does not work in a total vacuum. We need the air inside to build a difference of pressures between the black and the white sides. The other effect that makes the radiometer work is less known and it's called thermal transpiration. Under certain circumstances, the air moves from the cold side to the hot side. So in the radiometer, the air moves in this direction. And by Newton's third law, the veins will rotate in the opposite direction. Many thanks for visiting my channel. I hope you liked the video. If you want to help me, please visit my Patreon page. Thanks and see you in the next one.